So today our Bible story is about a man named Saul. Can you guys say Saul? Saul. Saul. And do you remember it was Saul a good man or a bad man? Bad. Bad. Show me those thumbs down. So our story starts when Jesus is already gone. So he went up to heaven. You remember he was standing with his disciples. And his disciples were all around him. And all of a sudden, guys, watch my hands. Because Jesus just started floating. And as he was talking to them, he kept rising and rising. Can you make your hands rise? And rising until he was gone. And they couldn't see him anymore. And he went where? He went to Jesus. Heaven, right? He went to Jesus. Went to heaven, and he left his disciples on earth. His disciples are his special workers, and he gave them a job to do. And their job was to tell other people about Jesus. So they told their friends, and they told people they didn't know, and they told people who were their family, and they told people who weren't nice to them. They told everyone they could about Jesus. And what did he what he had done? And what did Jesus do for them? Jesus? Got on the cross and said the way out so so we can go to heaven and stay somewhere. Yeah, place. and they were so excited, they did kind things mm. to show Jesus how much they love him. Maybe they gave somebody a meal who didn't have any meals. Mm. Or maybe they let someone stay at their house who didn't have a home, Jones. Mm. And they told many people. And Jones, this is the most important part. They said, Jesus loves you. Jones, I need your quiet bubble. They said, Jesus loves you. They said, Jesus died for you so that you can go to heaven. And some people were so excited. They said, really? Jesus loves me that much? And then they told them about baptism. And what is baptism? What do they put on your head? Water. Water. And you say God's word, and you say in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. But in those days, they took people, and they dunked them in a river. So they said, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You're a believer. Jesus loves you. I thought the one with Saul. We're talking about the one with Saul. But here's where Saul comes in. Saul was a bad man, right? No, he was not. He was. He was. He did not like Christians. He hurt Christians. He threw them in prison. And he wanted to catch as many Christians as he could so that they would stop telling people about Jesus. Can you show me? Is it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Thumbs down. Say, boo, Saul. Oh, boo, Saul. He made some bad choices. So, one day... Saul said, I'm going to go to Damascus. So he got on his walking feet. Can you walk with me? He said, I'm going to go to Damascus, and we're going to try to catch as many Christians as we can to throw them in jail. Why? And this is where he stopped. What do you think happened next? A catch. Do you remember? Here's my picture. What happened to Saul? What all of a sudden shone from heaven? Um, God! A big, bright... No a big, light. A, bright, a big, bright light. That's right. It's and, God! And Saul was afraid, and he fell on the ground. Can you fall on the ground with me? And he heard a voice that said, Saul! Saul! Why are you hurting me? And the voice, and Saul, Saul said, Who are you? I'm scared. Jones, who is it? Who was the voice? Ah! It was Jesus. And Jesus said, what do, or Saul, First Saul said, well, well, what do you want with me? What do you want me to do? I'm sorry, I'm hurting you. And, and Jesus told Saul, I want you to go to Damascus. I want you to wait. Can you show me your finger? We have to wait. Wait. And I want you to wait for me to tell you what to do. And all of a sudden the light was gone. The voice was gone. And Saul got up. But what couldn't Saul do? 
He couldn't see. Can you cover your eyes and close your eyes? Can you see anything? Yeah. No, he couldn't see anything. So his friends had to take him by the hand, and they had to lead him to Damascus. Because he couldn't see. Annie. And they led him to Damascus, and he stayed with a man Annie called Asher. Do you remember who he stayed Annie with? Does. Annie does. No. No. What was his name? It's the same as your middle name. Me. What's your middle name? Asher. Asher. And Hobby. Calcutt. Anna. Huh? Ananias. Ananias. He stayed with a man called Ananias. And hobby. Four. Count with me. No. One. Hobby. Ha hobby. Help hobby. me count. Miss Anne's talking. I need hobby. Four. One. One. Two. One, two, two three, three days. days. One, two, three days. That's where my brain And then on the That's third day, Hobbs is our bubble. On the third day, big scales, nasty scales fell off of Paul's eyes. Ew, right? Yeah. And what happened to his eyes then? He could see. He could see. It was a miracle. And God told him, I want you to... And he swam in the water. God told him, I want you to be my special helper. I want you to stop hurting my friends. I want you to tell people about... Jesus. Yeah, about God, about Jesus, that you have been forgiven of all of your sins and that Jesus died for you so you can go to heaven. Did Saul listen to God's words? Yeah. Yes, he did. In fact, Saul told so many people that Jesus loves you. Jesus died for you, yeah. and Jesus wants you to go. Point up. That's right. Can you guys do this action rhyme with me? You guys ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. First, we're going to point to our mouth. I can tell. I can tell. Listen closely. Listen closely. I can tell. I can tell. Jesus loves you and me. You and me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can tell. I can tell. Jesus died. Jesus died. And rose again. And rose again. What good news? What good news? I can. So friends, Saul stopped being mean to, to people, and he helped them. What is a nice thing that you can do to help somebody, Jones? Should we ask Evie first? Evie, what's a nice thing that you can do to help someone? How you can be a good friend and help someone? Uh, no, not today. Not but today. Lydia, how can you help somebody? I'm afraid sneaking in jail and getting people out of there. Hmm. That sounds like a good plan, but I'm not sure they're going to let you sneak in. Why? But and and maybe you could. Maybe it would be a good plan if they didn't but do anything didn't wrong. But me. you have to also listen to the law, because Jesus but says. Follow the laws of the people on earth, right? So you can help somebody get out of jail, but I wouldn't sneak in. Why? <laughs> because is that be, is that doing the right thing? Yeah. No, sneaking in isn't doing the right thing. Jones, did you have something you wanted to do to help somebody? What would you want? Get out! Get out! Sorry, 
I say it again, my friends were yelling. Yeah, you can help them when they get sick. Harrison, what can you do to help somebody? What can you do to help someone? Um, kill that guy. Oh, but Jesus says, don't kill. So maybe don't kill the bad guy, but say, hey, police officers, there's a bad guy here. Can you get him? Right? That would be. I'll, I'll be police officer. Asher, what's some way you can help somebody? I can be police officer from my house. Yay! Oh, Hobson. Right, Hobson, I can't listen to Asher because you're talking. You can help him when you get hurt. You can help him when you get hurt. That's right. Jesus says, go and help. Be good helpers. Can you guys say, be good helpers. Be good helpers. Let's work on being good helpers this week, okay? okay. So give me a thumbs up if you're going to be a good helper this week. Excellent. Our Bible verse today is 2 Corinthians 5, verse 17. Can you repeat after me? If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. So let's do it this way. Let's go. If anyone is in Christ, he is Bye.